Hey there QTubers, today it's my ultimate kettle hack. I call it the Weber Smoky Kamado Kettle Egg Grill. Yeah, that's right, it's got aspects of all those things. I'm using the bottom bowl of the Weber Kettle, which has the ease and convenience of ash disposal. Real nice feature, and I'm using the lid from a Weber Smoky Mountain. That lid has lots of room and it gives you plenty of possibilities. Alright, so for this to work, for this lid to sit on top of that bowl, I needed to put a gasket. So I have a felt gasket here, felt gasket on the inside, felt gasket on the outside, and then on the bottom bowl I also have another gasket. That gives you a real nice seal. You know these uh, these Kamados, they're they're really good cookers and they're very efficient. And you know they, they wouldn't be as popular if if, uh, if if they weren't good. But the thing is, is I didn't want to I didn't want to buy one. Sure, I could buy one, but you know what fun is that? I, I'd rather put something together and, and and make it my own. So let me just take you on the inside. Here's my maximum capacity charcoal basket all stainless steel as you can see I have a, a nice bank of uh, charcoal briquettes and let me go and show you the options that we have here alright so the first option I have here is direct grilling and searing Another option is cooking grate on this side, indirect. Alright, now is where we start to take advantage of all that room in that lid. Elevated rack, some call it a warming rack, that ain't no warming rack, that's a cooking grate. That's right, that's, that's, that's the second level right there. Alright, so now we're building it up. There it is, third level right there, one, two, three. I could have three three different slabs of ribs or, or chicken or, or whatever. Taking advantage of that domed lid right there. We're building it up. Hold on, we're not done. There's still room in that lid for one more level. See how I got that stack? That's custom right there. Alright, so with this setup I could go four levels high. See that right there? It's my stainless steel cooking rack. Four levels in that lid. I'll be using that later this evening. Alright, so the thing with the Kamado is they all have a hinged lid which is really nice and convenient and I thought about putting a, a hinge on here you know, nice and easy and convenient you just pick it up and out of the way but after using it several times and the, the way it's set up is you know, you have your exhaust vent on the top of the top of the lid so if you if you mount it and it's going to be only one way you have to set it up for your charcoal you can't go direct or indirect so I, I like having the option if I want to go indirect right now the way that that's set up charcoal indirect exhaust over here so heat comes up goes out now if I'm doing a direct sear or direct heat you know I want to have the option to turn to turn the lid so my exhaust is above the fuel you know I just for me personally that's that's just an option that uh, that I need to have you know sure a hinge would be convenient but I'm good with that I'm good with that and I mean it's all it's all about you know what's convenient, what's, what works for me, you know. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not selling this or anything. This is just what I'm using and this is the way I want to use it. So, alright, you know, the, the Kamados are pretty cool, but, you know, I wanted to make my own version. Alright, so, now I wanted to talk more about this condensed version, you know, for it being a a uh, Weber Smoky Mountain utilizing 
the dome lid I've talked about that in the past the the temps are higher in the lid of course than they are down below so why not utilize all that space and take advantage of it elevate your food and it, to to where it, it's using that higher heat so what that means is you're using less fuel now the thing is is this is this is the ultimate smoker setup you know because it's so small you're not using and heating a large area like the Weber Smoky Mountain you have all that area that you have to heat up sure you have a water pan and all that but the thing is is utilizing all this space it's more efficient you use less fuel and you're taking advantage of all that space which on, on a big old uh, 22 and a half uh, Weber Smoky Mountain all the food and the meat is down here okay and it's hanging that's the only only uh, disadvantage to this setup is you really can't hang but hey you never know keep watching I might hang something in here I mean you can't you ain't it's not not out of the the realm of possibilities because you know but a small condensed version of this this kettle and smoker I mean people always talk about if they only had one grill slash smoker what would it be it's always the Weber kettle well I'm just taking the Weber kettle to a new level that's it taking it to a new level you know just expanding the possibilities and you know it's just this is this is going to be my cooker right here I mean if if there was if there was only one cooker that I could have out of all this other junk this would be it right here my Kamado kettle uh, egg egg grill yeah that's right now I just wanted to show you take you over here I do have this port a fan port where I can put my stoker and this grill also has that exhaust now I have an exhaust that's about this high set up for the for the lid of the kettle well for that to work I'm gonna have to get myself a longer pipe that's right it's gonna have to extend up about that far and I'll probably only be using that whenever I put in that baffle plate fill that uh, maximum capacity basket completely full of charcoal it'll be loaded up with charcoal the baffle plate in there running the stoker utilizing all this area and using that exhaust this top exhaust will be closed you know that's the, this is going to be an awesome little smoker slash Kamado slash grill slash everything I could possibly want right there in that little crazy looking egg looking thing alright time to get some food on